Hi lovelies, welcome back to the channel Expert Empire. I'm Esther. I know you're seeing my face for the very first time. Yes, this is the face and the voice behind this channel. Okay, to all my returning subscribers, thanks a bunch, guys. I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much. God bless you. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how I made this lovely wrap top with balloon sleeve, okay? It is very easy to make, alright? And it is beginner friendly, yes. So you, it can be styled in different ways. Just feel free to play around with it, alright? So if this looks like what you're interested in, make sure you watch to the end you might want to grab some popcorn and a glass of juice just to cool your temper all right while you watch this video guys <laughs> don't mind me all right so yeah let's dive right into the tutorial i'll be making use of this velvet fabric and it's about one and a half yards you can make use of any fabric of your choice okay so this particular velvet I'm making use of is stretchy on one side only. The other side is not stretching, okay? So I've gone ahead to fold the fabric into two and I'll be drafting the back piece first. You can see the way I folded it. So what I'll do first is to um, rule a straight line to serve as the shoulder line and starting point. Next, I'll take the full length of the wrap top, okay? So for me, the length I'm working with is 22 inches. I'll go ahead and add one inch to it for the hemming allowance, okay? Then next, I'll take the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 8 inches. I'll add half inch to it for joining, okay? Then I'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. Next, I'll take the neck width, which is 3 inches, and then the neck depth for the back is um, 1 inch. Next, I will uh, connect the points together. Then I will use a straight ruler to draw the slanted line, which is now my shoulder line, okay? Now, from that point, I will mark 8 inches as the armhole, okay? I will draw a straight line right there. Then I will extend the line outwards this way. And that will be my chest line. So, on the chest line, I will take my bust measurement divided by 4, mark it right there. And I'll add one inch seam allowance to it. Next, on the hem, I'll go ahead and take the uh, my waist measurement divided by four. Then I'll add one inch to it as the seam allowance. Then I'll connect the hem to the bust right there and then cut. Guys, I forgot to draw my arm hook off. So what I do is to come out by one inch from that angle and then connect it this way. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So now the back piece is ready and I'll be using it to cut out the front piece. Okay, this is what the back piece is looking like. So now I've folded my fabric into two as well and I've placed the back piece on it. And as you can see, I have some extension at the front right there. That is where the wrap is going to be, okay? So the measurements I'm working with is 5.5 inches. You can do as wide as you want or you can even reduce it if you want. So I'm working with 5.5 inches, okay? Next, I'll go ahead and measure what I have at the armhole right there and divide it by two and mark it on the front piece because I'll be reducing that armhole right there at the front piece, okay? The front is inwards than the back, okay? So I'll just trace the shoulder slant right there and mark that point, the neckline, okay? I'll mark it and also mark, I'll mark the neck point right there. I'll come in by half inch from that armhole um, point that I made earlier and then I'll cover it this way then trim it off okay so now I have my font I'm whole okay now I have to pin it down because it's just uh, moving all over the place so I have to just pin it down to keep it in place okay 
So that's what I'm doing right here now. Just trying to pin it down to keep it in place. All right. So I'll go ahead and cut. Just cut out the down part just like it is at the um, back piece. Okay. After I'm done with that, I'll take off the pins and then take out the back piece. Now I have to um, work on the front piece. So what I'll do from that fold right there, from that center front fold, I'll come up by three inches, mark it right there, and then connect that point to the neckline. Okay, just watch what I'm doing, guys. Connect it to the neckline using a straight ruler. You can decide to leave it this way, but for me, I just want to give it a little bit of curvy shape right there. So I'll just go ahead and use my free hand to draw that um, curved line and then cut it out. So now I'll go ahead and slit this part open and then the front is ready. The front piece is also ready, guys. So now this is our wrap uh, the on top. This is how the front is going to look like. I'll be adding belts to that part, okay, to extend it so that I'll be able to tie, okay. So now for the sleeve, I've already folded my fabric into four. I'll be cutting the two sleeves at the same time. And the length I'm working with is 11.5 inches including seam allowance okay so i'll be folding the hem of the sleeve with one inch all right so i'll just go ahead and mark that 11.5 inch uh, across and draw a straight line that way okay so the width i'm working with is 16 inches all right so from that edge right there i'll come down by five inches and then with my free hand i'll just try to draft the um, sleeve curve right there you can see what i just did it's not something difficult just use your um free hand to just draw your sleeve curve right there then i'll go ahead and cut out the sleeve so now our sleeve is ready you can see guys it's ready i'll go ahead and notch the center of the sleeve cap right there so next um i already cut out the pieces for the belt and then the width is four inches and the length i'm working with is 35 inches okay just multiply your waist circumference by two that's the least you can do for the belt okay so i'll go ahead and fold it into two this way and then stitch it down with about half inch at the edge i trimmed off that part to have that kind of pointy look okay so now like the sewing part what i'll do first is to turn the neckline with a bias tape okay i'll turn the neckline with a bias tape you can go ahead and uh, use the fabric and um, the same color of fabric okay for your bias but don't worry i'm just doing this for the sake of tutorial i was unable to get the color of the fabric okay so that being said um for the front i'll go ahead and turn it and just fold it a bit this way and then stitch it down up to that point okay i'll do the same thing for the other piece of the front okay or the other front piece now after i'm done with that i'll go ahead and join the front and the back together and then stitch it by half inch on the shoulder line okay stitch it with half inch on the shoulder line you can see guys i already made my stitch i already stitched the neckline okay of the front and the back and you can see how it's looking i also went ahead to um, give it a good press so that it can relax but um for the sake of those that are having issues when sewing stretchy fabrics um i just want to show you this i make use of ha needle and uh, i prefer using um size 16 it works perfectly for uh, most fabrics most stretchy fabrics they have you can use size 14 as well or 18 but 16 is very okay it works perfectly fine for me it does not create holes into the fabrics too much especially where you have to loosen or something and you know stretchy fabrics once you start losing it might tear off okay so that's what i use i can see how it's looking that's how the um, needle looks okay so just make use of that and you don't have issues with um showing stretchy fabrics okay guys so now for the sleeve i'll go ahead and turn the hem this way fold it in this way and then stitch it round i'll do the same thing for the other sleeve then i'll go ahead and insert this elastic into it okay as you can see i've done one of the sleeve i've already inserted the elastic band into it okay i'll show you how i was able to do that with this other sleeve okay so what i'll do is i'll 
insert this safety pin into it but before then let me show you the measurement the measurement i use is 13 inches for the elastic band okay so next i will go ahead and put the pin through it and then i'll start inserting it into that channel that i created for it okay you can see the way i'm passing it through it so just take your time okay so just keep doing that keep doing that until when you're almost getting to the edge or when okay you can see um the elastic band is almost going in so i had to make use of the pin to hold it down right there so i would i won't have to um do this all over again okay so you go ahead and do that and then i'll continue with the process until i get to the other end of the sleeve i'll go ahead and also pin it down all right i'll pin it down to keep it in place and i'll take off the uh, pin right there okay so you can see this is what it's looking like all right so next what i'll do is i'll go ahead and fix the sleeve next i'll place the sleeve on the blouse right side facing each other i'll pin it down right there making sure that the center front of the sleeve is right on the shoulder joining okay then i'll pin the edges as well and after that i'll go ahead and pin it all the way around to keep it in place i'll keep pinning it down this way and i'll go ahead and stitch it and as i stitch i'll keep pleating when i get to this center part i'll keep pleating it this way i'll pleat it this way to the center of the sleeve and also continue pleating it this way until i exhaust the excess fabric right there okay i'll stitch it down that way all the way to the other edge okay and i'll repeat the same thing on the other sleeve and as you can see i'm done stitching the sleeve to the dress and it's looking so beautiful guys can you see how lovely it looks the velvet is a very soft fabric so the puff is not really standing okay but if you use the fabric that is more thick okay it's bring out the puffiness of the sleeve more all right so after that i'll go ahead and um place the fabric right side facing each other pin it down right there and stitch it down i'll repeat the same thing at the other side then i'll go ahead and fix the belt so those parts of the front that i left earlier okay i would hem the down part this way and then make sure it matches with the belt i'll pin it down and stitch it this way okay and after i'm done with that i'll repeat the same thing on this other side then next i'll go ahead and just fold the down part a little bit with about one inch just fold it this way all right and then i'll stitch it down i'll go ahead and stitch it all the way around my beautiful wrap top is ready guys and as you can see it's looking so beautiful okay you can see the belt sitting nice everything is looking okay so i went ahead to create a hole on one side of the wrap top so that i can be able to pass the belt through it and tie it either to the back or to the side or whichever um, position i want to tie the belt okay so go ahead and leave some space enough to contain the the rope okay so loves this is the final look of the wrap top you can see how beautiful it looks it's so lovely and this is the first way i styled it okay tied it to the back and here i tied it to the side if you enjoyed watching this tutorial please give it a massive thumbs up click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get notified each time i upload a new video and don't forget to comment and share with your friends i'll see you in my next one bye